Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of Dark Souls. In this episode I will basically be showing you how to basically get the best weapon without getting the Drake Sword. As well as a nice route to get the to get a nice farm going for souls. And also, I missed saying it, but that kick was amazing. I just kicked him off. Proper Spartan style. <laughs> You know, this is Spartan, blah, 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 blah. Ignore the message, I forgot to turn that off, and I don't know how to turn that off. So yeah, I got that shield, as you can see, the hollowed boulder shield, I believe. I think I'm about to show it. Yeah, I'll show you here. Hollowed sh soldier shield. It's quite good. It's better than my original shield, so yeah, that's why I got it on. And I was thinking, kill that guy. Kill that guy. I really wanted to get rid of this play mace. I hated it. Or hate it, sorry. These guys, oh, I hate these guys so much. I hate the pikemen. You got no clue. Uh, so bloody annoying them too. I was like, fuck that, run away. <laughs> Manly thing to do. What are you about? Right. So basically, I managed to gather three thousand souls, <laughs> and I skipped that one. I shouldn't have. But yeah. And so this is what I usually get. Always get the repair box before you do anything. Get the repair box. As well as this bit I'm doing here is to set up to get um, what well, I was trying to see how many hours I can get. Cause I wanted to get a hundred. Huh. I don't know why I wanted to get a hundred. I don't need a hundred, but you know, Thanks thought you. why not? <laughs> Used to using some souls to get the arrows and all that, just so I can set up to get the Drake Sword, which I will be showing you in a later video how to get that. I think either I think it's after the next episode. Yeah, after the next episode, because I've got some pre-recorded. Uh, yeah, so I was like, hmm, I'll buy the arrows. But no, the bow would be better. <laughs> so yeah, the bow costs 1,000, and you need 12 dexterity, I think, to use it. I don't really see it. But yeah, I've got enough. So yeah, um, this episode was supposed to be getting to the boss. But, yeah, it didn't work out very well. And so, here we go. Oh, and also, the um, path to get the good farming... Oh! Oops, I forgot about that guy. But yeah, the best way to get um, a soul farm going here is to go the way down to here. Then, if you... Oh, come on, Biggie, get, in the, get the right place. Uh, this is me buying a thousand souls. A horrible goat demon has moved in below. And up above, there's that humongous drake and a bull demon too. If you stick around this place, it might end up being your grave. <laughs> Weirdo. Anyway, um, <laughs> here I am buying them arrows. You don't need that many. Don't get a hundred. Get like. I'll say, I think you need 35. So I'll get 50. I'll say get 50, just in case. If you get heavy arrows, you need about 20, I think. But yeah, instead of going up this ladder, up the ladder, uh, up the stairs, you turn left and you end up, in, you see the pathway, you follow that pathway. It'll take you to four, like, lesser demons that are easy to kill. And then, with those lesser demons, or lesser demons, lesser mobs, what you do is basically kill them, go up the ladder, and then you'll go onto a roof where there'll be some there'll be ten throwing arrows, and then from there you walk off onto the pathway where the Drake first landed, if you know what I mean. I'll hope most likely be showing you a video at some point. So yeah, don't worry about it. You saw me there leveling up my strength, I believe, to sixteen or no. And that was a fail. <laughs> wow. Now I remember this episode. <laughs> uh, this is this is is very embarrassing. This episode, trust me. Ugh, hate it, really do. I got so annoyed at myself for this. Thankfully, it was there, so I can just pick that up. So I was like, yeah, try and kick him, kick him, kick him, and I didn't. And oh, almost fell. <laughs> I thought I fell then. Yeah, whack him. Dead. And as you can see, I leveled up. So, um, it took more hits to kill those things. Here I am. I'm pulling out the mobs. 
and then that guy comes, <clears throat> and I get hit by the... I'm surrounded, and I get hit by the fire, and I am dead. Yet again. Not fucking a minute later from my last death, I'm dead again. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Damn it. <laughs> Can't believe it. That is, it's an amateur mistake, and I'm not an amateur. Ugh. So yeah, here I go looking if I need to repair anything with the repair box that I brought. I have no cells, so I can't. So basically, I kill these. Come on. As you can see, I was starting to get impatient because of the wave thing. Yeah, I am trying to do the um, the parry thing. And I was like, screw that, I keep failing. Just kill them quick and painfully. Well, quick and painfully. No. Is that right? Quick. Uh, anyway. Get this. I should have really um, killed the guy that killed me last time. Because he is just at the bottom of the stairs. That was a stupid idea. Going in between them both. Alright. Here I go. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Ooh. And don't die. Okay. There we go. Continue on. At this point, I was like, uh, screw it, just go back. Just go back and do what I want. What, do the other thing. Yeah, I am checking out my weapons, seeing what's the best one to have, because I was getting really tired of the Morningstar. But then I realised, hmm, where can I get the best weapon? Hmm. So, okay. So, so yeah. So, I decided I would um, repair everything. I repair everything. I don't care if I don't wear it anymore or use it anymore. I just repair. I don't like having that full of items. So I'm trying out this weapon. See if it's any good. It's alright because it, you can use it while hiding behind your shield, which I don't do for some reason. See? There you go. I've done it there. <laughs> Never mind. It's a nice armor. Well, not a nice armor. It's pretty bad armor. But hey ho. It's good if you don't mind. Lunging, plunging attack, sorry, not plunging attack. Is it lunging or plunging? I don't know. And at this point, I think I was trying to get, I wanted to get a backstab or something like that. And oh my god, these guys, I hate them so much. Uh, I'll never stop complaining about how much I hate these guys. And I'm a dead. And again, I'm like, fuck that. And ran like a woman. Well, not like a woman, but you know what I mean. So we got them checking to see if there's anything else I wanted. And I was like, <laughs> anyway, I was checking to see if we had anything else to say. Thought, you know, what, I'll buy that. Why not? And I bought it. One. <laughs> it's cheap, and yeah. Did I get a bottomless box? I think I did. Yeah, I did. So yeah, got everything I ever wanted. And I was like, you know what? Time to die. <laughs> arrogant, annoying thing. And yeah, getting my best weapon because it is my current best weapon. But die! Mad, have you? Have you? Yulia is his name of his weapon, by the way, oh, that he calls it, I think, at the least. So yeah, here I am, the Uchigatana. It is a dexterity weapon, and some people class it as, if you level it up to max, it is the best weapon to have for a dexterity build, some people say. That or the Quellic Sword. I personally prefer that. I look badass with it. I have been Game Biggie. This has been Dark Souls, and I will see you next time.